All right, we all know that New Year's is a time that people consider change, and fear is what holds most people back, but that's not going to hold you back. This is Tracy Schmidt, author, leader, humanitarian, advocate, decorated athlete, motivational speaker. I can go on and on and on, and you're sharing your story. Good morning to you, Tracy. Good morning. We're talking about inspiring people because you say everyone can do this. D look ahead to 2018 and say, I'm going to change things. Why? Why? Do I look at things that way? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Do you know, I think ever since I was a little girl being born a four-way amputee, I just wanted to play. Mm -hmm. So I would do whatever it took to go play. And, you know, that's true today in business as a woman entrepreneur is I just want to thrive. Uh, yeah. Just as an entrepreneur, forget just being a woman or being a person with a disability. And so this is why you thrive and you do whatever it takes. But for me, that takes being unstoppable. But it turns out that's what it takes for everybody. And you are known as Unstoppable Trace. Yes. People know you as just unstoppable because you are never going to let anything hold you back. And I want to go through some of these amazing points and tips that you have for people who are looking to maybe change things up for 2018 and say, I don't know if I have it in me. And you say, yeah, you do. So let's, let's start with this. Uh, unstoppable you. And why do, why do you want to say people are unstoppable? You know, a lot of my life it was me proving to other folks. Mm -hmm. You know, so I would like climb mountains in the Himalayas or captain tall ships and, and then my dream to get to the Paralympic trials and I ended up at World Cup regattas with able-bodied men. Yeah. And I was constantly proving something, even with the downhill skiing or scuba diving, like all of these things. But then one day I realized that it wasn't so much about myself as it was about others. Mm -hmm. You know, I was fundraising for my Paralympic campaign and I was speaking to do that and people would talk to me afterwards and say, do you know, I've had this book on my shelf forever that I wanted to write or publish or I wasn't feeling so strong and I almost wanted to commit suicide and you made me feel unstoppable and it, it was like a slight bulb mm -hmm. that it was so much less about my journey and more about all of us. You know, I, I was reading a little bit about your background and you've done kind of a bit of everything, which, yeah. is, which is kind of crazy to think back onto your life and say, I've done this, 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 and, and so many people look up to you, and I know you've done many speeches, and, and um, I love this. You say, counter offer no. Don't let people give you no as an answer. Yeah. How do you do that? Because it's so easy to say, someone says no to me, all right, moving on, next thing, but how do I make it work for me? How do I counter offer? And you know, the way I listen to no is not N-O, but as K-N-O-W, hmm. right? They just don't know. So when I was going to go sailing, people are looking at me like, well, sure, it's great, it's admirable that you want to, but they don't imagine that I'm high performance and can kick butt against some of those able-bodied Viking <laughs> men, which was amazing. I liked that part. Absolutely. <laughs> and just realizing that you can do it, but you've got to just stick with it. I remember with my sailing, I mm. ended up living out of my car for three months and I was washing boats for Magnus Lidgedal, a gold Olympian, able-bodied world, mm -hmm. to make an impression on him. Right. And just be, and, and fetching his lunch and fixing parts of his broken boats, you know? Because you knew where you wanted to go. You knew what yes. you needed to do. You saw you at your end goal. Yes. Right? And I think and a did lot, whatever it took. And that's the thing. A lot of people say, um, let's, ju let's just use going to the gym as an example, right? Yes. For, for As a New Year's resolution. And people, yes. and they think, oh, well, I want to lose that 15, 20 pounds or, or whatnot. But you've got to take it a pound at a time. Yes. Right? Yes. Which is some great advice that you have here. Also kind of, um, there's a lot of uncertainty. People have uncertainty about whether or not they can achieve those goals and what do you say to them? You know, I think having uncertainty is no excuse for not taking action. Mm -hmm. So with the sailing example, when, because I have artificial legs, when I sail, I, I sail with my legs off because I swim with my legs off. Mm. And when I started, I was like a weeble wobble doll. I kept falling out of the boat, right? Mm -hmm. But I just got back in that boat. And the people around me, I could see them being scared. Uh-oh, four-way amputee in the water. But what's great is that they believed I could. Mm -hmm. And I always knew in my heart of hearts, I could sail. I wasn't that I couldn't sail. It was that I had to learn how to balance in the boat. And I just kept climbing back in the boat. And that first summer, I didn't get my white sail level one. But the next summer, I caught up and I got my white cell level one and I got my white cell level two like all the other kids. 
But unlike all the other kids, once I learned how to balance in the boat, mm -hmm. I got my whites to level three and my bronze four. And Pretty so incredible. it's because I could feel the wind, but I knew I could do it. I knew it was just about how do I balance in the boat. Right. And I was totally uncertain and I wasn't sure. Same with skiing. When I started skiing, it was on a run called Oh My Goodness. It was called Oh My Goodness. And we all have those moments in life where yeah. we're saying, Oh My Goodness. I don't goodness. know if I can do this. Yeah. Right? But talking you to our teenagers, talking to our boss for a raise. Oh, oh my goodness. Whatever Is he watching it might be, right now? Right? I would love that raise. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, this book, uh, by the way, if anyone wants to check it out, such an inspirational read. And how can people get a hold of it? Unstoppable You. Unstoppable You. And you could, ev everyone can have it for free. It's downloadable. Yes, you go to unstoppableyoubook.ca. Yep. And and you you share your email and I will send you a free download of the book. That is easy peasy. You have no excuses now. No uh, excuse. breakfasttelevision.ca if you want more information. Thank you so much, Tracy. What an inspiration. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you. We're going upstairs to you, Tammy.